This portion of the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion is brought to you by my brand new book. Yes, seven ways to win political debates with your liberal family and friends and still keep them as your family and friends. It's available at Amazon. It's got a Kindle version. It has an ebook version. That's the ebook version. It has Kindle and it has paperback and Audible is coming soon. So don't worry. You can get it at Amazon. Call the neighbors, wake the kids. It's coming. I'll tell you more about that in just a couple of seconds. Melanie Morgan is here. Your way to fight back to CNN. I'm going to tell you about that in just a second. Let's get the show started, shall we? Put down, ripped off, cut open. Now, he's unleashed. Unleashed. The American insurgency starts now. This is Rusty Humphreys Rebellion Radio. Well, hello, my brother from another mother. How you doing? My sister from another mister. How you doing? My name is Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. Makes it easier since my name is Rusty Humphreys. That the name would be named after that. Coming up in just a little bit, we are going to talk with uh, Melanie Morgan. We've got lots of video clips you don't want to miss. Uh, Trump is in the news. He's uh, he's knocking it out of the park. CNN is, is falling as we speak. And uh, we're going to go right to uh, an old friend of mine. And not that she's old, because she's not, of course. She's uh, much younger than I. Uh, Melanie Morgan is here. Melanie, how are you? I'm doing great. I tell you, I'm busier than a one-hour paper hanger right now. I mean, we've got such a target-rich environment out there, Rusty. It's ridiculous. The liberals are just doing and saying stupid things. And, of course, we got to call them out on it. I of mean, course. what else would we do? Now, you're a very famous radio talk show host. You were the, the t- number one talk show host in San Francisco for years and years. And one of the other things that people probably recognize you from is something you did uh, just a couple of days ago, and that is uh, um, the Troopathon. That's right. It's a live broadcast that aired on Newsmax TV, which was just awesome. They sponsored our whole live broadcast for us. And it was really exciting because Rita Cosby and I, a special um, I love uh, Rita correspond- Cosby. Uh, everybody loves yeah, Rita Yeah, how can Cosby. you not? Everybody yeah. knows Rita Cosby, and she's just fantastic. Yeah. Of course, former Fox News personality. But she helped me along with John Bachman, and we raised $407,000. But the rebroadcast is still playing on Newsmax, so you can still donate to Troopathon right now okay, at Troopathon.org. Oh, oh. What we do is send care packages, right. by the way, Rusty. Let me, let me make sure know. I got that correct. So you raised $407. Four hundred seven thousand dollars. Four hundred and seven thousand. Holy moly! Okay, now let me ask you this: Do we? Okay, I know that you guys send like goodie packages over to uh, the troops and stuff. Do they need it anymore? Yes, and that's the thing is for uh, several years now, people have made the assumption because the former president of the United States, Mr. Obama had told everybody that troops were being pulled out of Iraq and Afghanistan, and that is simply not true. We still have over 15,000 troops and 4,000 more that are being sent back to the region, as well as 200,000 in the area who are serving in harm's way. So that's why we send care packages, and we we do it every single year. It's a year-round project for us. Very cool. What kind of cool stuff did they get this time? Well, this year, of course, they always get the personal care and comfort items. Um, Those include what we call dude wraps um, so that you can clean yourself off of the desert dust. I've been to Iraq twice and I know how very important that is. We send them cookies and candy and premium roasted coffee. You know, the thing about it is Rusty is they can't just run down to a 7-Eleven and, and get a care package or get any of the items that we send them in the care package. We also send them books and tapes and, um, you know, music that will be uplifting to them and, and really difficult times. And, Mostly, we, though, we send um, a personal note, a message to them. That seems to be the thing that really boosts their morale the most. A lot of these personal notes develop into re- personal relationships, and that's cool. Very cool. All right. Is there, now, so you said that the video stream is still up at Newsmax. Can people still donate? That was a stupid uh, question. I, I'm giving you a nice softball to hit out of the park. I know, Go ahead. And yeah. I'm going to hit it right <laughs> over the fences for you. Yes, troopathon.org is where you can donate right now. We're still accepting. As we do all year long, any donation that uh, you can afford is very much appreciated. Of course, if you got a lot of money, give a lot of money. That's what I always say, mm-hmm. because there's nothing more worthwhile than giving a care package to a soldier who is in harm's way. It really means a lot. Yeah, You know, I've been to Iraq, as you have, in Afghanistan and other places, and they really do 
uh, I don't want to say rely on them, but it really does boost the morale quite a bit. And uh, I, I was honored enough to be a part of uh, Troopathon a few times and uh, wasn't able to be there this year, but hopefully next year. And it's yes, a great we, thing. We, 100%. We would love to have you back again because you're always so awesome. Great super trooper supporter. And I appreciate that about you, Rusty. My pleasure. Matter of fact, one of the things that Melanie and I got a chance to do a few years ago, I don't know if you remember, but we went to Fisher House. You remember that? I certainly do, and the Fisher organization is one of the best in the in the country. And a lot of people say, "Well, why don't you just focus on care packages?" I don't. Um, anything like Wounded Warrior, we've been partnering up with Wounded Warrior, but the Fisher House people are so fantastic. These uh, men and women work very hard to make sure that the families of injured soldiers have a, a great place to stay. And I'm I have to say that I'm a fan of HGTV. And anytime there's any place that's really well decorated, Rusty, I'm in nice. and I'm a hundred percent in for Fisher. Okay, let's talk about something else you're a hundred percent in on, and that is you and an old friend of mine, uh, Brian Maloney, who I used to, uh, I never worked with him. It was, I followed him in Reno. He would worked at a Reno, the Reno station I worked at. And then uh, he went to Seattle and then I went to there. So I guess I just follow him around. And now I'm, <laughs> I'm, I have you on the show, so I'm following him again. Um, but uh, you and Brian have teamed up and you are, are spearheading an, uh, a thing to go after CNN. And you did this before the, uh, the latest couple of things that have happened, right? Yeah, we started this little effort of ours uh, April 26th when Brian gave me a call and said, hey, Mel, you know, our friend, a mutual friend of ours, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy or not, but uh, he's been out there in the talk world for a while. His name is Sean Hannity. Who? And yeah. Mr. <laughs> Hannity. Yeah was in trouble, deep trouble, as a matter of fact. And he wasn't aware that we were doing this, but we got together and said, we got to try uh, and make some sort of difference here because there was, it was a very rocky time. Media Matters for America, which is a George Soros-funded organization, had targeted Hannity and came after him with um, an advertiser boycott. The advertiser boycott was successful. Hmm. He was losing dozens of advertisers. So we said, we've got to fight fire with fire. So we launched on Facebook. And thank you very much, all you Facebook people who are watching and listening to us right now, because you came through. We, uh, we put together this group called Stop the Scalpings on Facebook, made it a little edgy sounding uh, on purpose to get your attention. And it did, because within just a few days, we had 107,000 committed conservative activists out there wow. phoning, dialing. They were um, texting, tweeting, doing every kind of smoke signals. They were doing whatever <laughs> they could to get the attention of the advertisers to say, come on back. And then we were going after the ones. We were just actually mimicking what Media Matters does. Mm -hmm. We were giving them an educational opportunity nice. to learn more about what was going on with um, this boycott. Uh, if people chose to take uh, part or participate, then that was their free decision. Well, you know, Melanie, one of the things I, I did, and you know, I haven't even talked to Sean about this, but I made sure a couple of his sponsors stayed. Uh, I actually called a friend of mine who's in charge of the advertising for one of my sponsors, which is Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream and Back Pain Relief Cream, as I throw in a little spot for them. But they stayed with Sean Hannity um, because they wanted to put their money where their mouth was, and it's a great product. I, I know you don't have arthritis pain or back. You might have back pain. Melanie, if you don't have arthritis uh, pain. I have all kinds of aches and pains, and I am definitely trying this product uh, Well, you need to do it. It's available at Walmart, Walgreens, and any great retailer. What's great about it, Melanie, is that it doesn't smell, and it doesn't burn, and it doesn't, and it's not greasy, and it has an empty jar guarantee. If it doesn't work for you, you can send it back. But, again, they were one of the products that stayed with Sean Hannity because they wanted to make sure that uh, Hannity didn't get O'Reilly or you know the list of people of Fox News that are gone now. That's exactly why we were doing it. So thank you to your advertiser. And thank you to you, Rusty. And I'm going to be sure and tell Sean about that because I know how much he has appreciated the outpouring of support all across the country that has come his way. I mean, hashtag stand with Sean was a number one trending item on Twitter. And that's what we started to try to create this momentum. We decided to branch out because this really isn't just about one talk show host. It's about all of us out there mm -hmm. and our First Amendment free speech rights. And that's what I'm deeply concerned concerned about because I've been the object of, of these uh, these boycotts that the left have undertaken. I'm sure that others across the country as have as well. We know, for instance, Monica Crowley and, and Sheriff Dave Clark. I mean, they were targeted. They were yeah. directly targeted because they only wanted 
to serve their country, and they only wanted to do that in a Trump administration. Well, guess what? Media Matters went after that through a man called Andrew Kaczynski. Uh, he's known as the K-Files, or the mobile social network for the new generation. Well, Andrew Kaczynski is a guy who really needs to lose his job because he's a failed journalist. He's most famous, Rusty, for misidentifying the Boston bombing suspects. Uh, during that horrible chapter uh, in our history. Wow. And then he was hired after um, a video, sort of, he's, he was sort of a video archivist at BuzzFeed. CNN thought that he would be just super to head up uh, a sophisticated operation called the K-Files, named mm. after Andrew Kaczynski. And now what's he done? Well, he's, he's, we're calling for his dismissal right now. This guy really... Um, has gone after conservatives, after Crowley, uh, after Dave Clark, and now he's got a giant screw-up on his hands involving hashtag CNN blackmail. Uh -huh. and, and that is one of the worst things I have ever heard uh, any news outlet do. Now, the, earlier it was being reported as that that guy was a 15-year-old kid. They're saying he's not 15. But whether he is 15 or, or 55, it doesn't matter. So if you don't do what CNN wants and you tease them, you make fun of them, they say they're going to destroy your life unless you apologize and grovel, which he did, and now they're, they're just happy with him now. And, Melanie, that was, that was one of the saddest days in, in journalistic history. I think well, you can't, you can't call it journalism because it yeah. wasn't. It was advocacy. That's what these uh, young four guys um, who were brought over from BuzzFeed uh, to do is to go after Republicans and, and especially conservatives. And that's exactly what they've done. I mean, but what they did was anybody who fights back, they target them personally and they try to take them down. It is really disgusting. And Jeff Zucker, who is the head of CNN, he bears responsibility for that. Mm -hmm. So we are calling for protests now against um, CNN, uh, CNN Atlanta, which is coming up July 22nd. You can see all the details at our Facebook page, Stop the Scalpings. Um, that's We're going to be there right in front of their face. We're going to get back at them and show them that, hey, it's time to fight fire with fire. That's why we're doing this, because we're not going to sit back. Conservatives for so long, Rusty, and you know this, we have just played, the, taken the, um, the upper... The high road, we've mm -hmm. taken the opportunity to really show our class because, first of all, we're working, right. unlike many on the left, <laughs> but also because we just don't like that. We don't like confrontation. That time is over, and it's over right now. So uh, Melanie Morgan is here. You can uh, find her at MediaEqualizer.com. So, so you're going to go to the, the CNN headquarters in Atlanta. Are you going to hit New York, too? Because it seems like... They say Atlanta's the headquarters, but all the big people are in New York now, aren't they? Yes, they certainly are. But you know what? We need to, to make a central point for uh, people who, who are coming west. Like I live in California, mm -hmm. you know, and other people live you know, in New York and, and, and in and, uh, Florida. But we've got to meet somewhere. So let's make it the symbol of what is the headquarters for CNN, for the uh, Clinton News Network is what we used to call it. Now we call it a fake news network. I think yeah. that's some of the memes going on right now. But uh, we have to let everybody know that there's a very sensitive merger that is uh, proposed between Time Warner and AT&T and CNN. Here's our opportunity as conservatives to get in the middle of that and muck it up and let people know that the time for the bias, for the lies and the conspiracies that you see on Don Lemon's show, on uh, their morning show, on their evening shows, uh, and with the K-Files, has got to stop. We've got to get back to responsible journalism. And until then, we're not going to fight fair. We're going to fight, but we're not going to fight at their level. Okay, now, obviously, in another uh, stroke of genius in your timing was the James O'Keefe videos that, has come, that have come out this past week. Um, are you working with him at all? Certainly, those videos have got to be helping what you're doing. <laughs> Well, we're not working with James O'Keefe, but we certainly are promoting every opportunity that we get the Project Veritatis um, videos, because, of course, it captures a CNN producer talking about the real deal, which is it's all about ratings. Mm. They know themselves this whole Russia Trump thing was just trumped up. They know that they are aware of it, but they don't care. They're, they're going to continue to press forward with it because they feel it generates ratings for them. It doesn't matter what the truth 
has to say or what or anything involved with accuracy. They're just going to push a storyline and a narrative, and that's what they're doing. But Melanie Morgan, they're going to say, but isn't that what you Tea Partiers did when it came to the Obama birth certificate or Fast and Furious or any number of scandals that Obama was able to skate away from? You know what? We are going to continue to get in their face with the truth. They have a hard time with the truth. Mm -hmm. I've been tweeting at Andrew Kaczynski at K Files, by the way, if you'd like to get involved in a little fun. <laughs> and he's really thin skinned. You know, he'll start, he says, You misspelled my name or Where? my name, my age is wrong. Why did you do that? But he can't say yes or no when I asked him directly on Twitter, did you or did you not strip the attributions from the theses belonging to Sheriff David Clark and Monica Crowley, formerly of Fox News, so it looked like they were plagiarists? Yes or no? <clears throat> yes or no? And he refused to answer. Wait, 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 wait. wait a second. I mean, now, Monica Crowley somebody I've known, I've loved forever. She's a good friend. But didn't she plagiarize that book? I mean, that was what we've heard. Absolutely not. No. No way. Okay, what's they the story? lied about her completely. And you know what? All of the things, there were a couple of little things in her book that were wrong. And that happens to every author. You know that. I know mm -hmm. that. I've written a book. I've got a couple of things wrong. The, there was never any conclusive evidence. She plagiarized a single word in that book. She is one of the most intellectual, bright, and articulate people I've ever met in my entire life. She would never do such a thing. The attributions were there in her book mm -hmm. as they were in Sheriff Clark's book. Guess what? The K files at CNN took those attributions out and they wouldn't even deny it. You know, and, and here's the thing a lot of people don't know about Monica Crowley. She's a professional book editor. It's what she does. It's not like it was her. It's not like me, an idiot who wrote a book in, in a week and a half who doesn't know what I'm doing. OK, although yes, it do. is funny. It is funny. The book is you, you'll have to check this book out. It is funny. I am um, going to. Um, but anyway, yeah, Melanie's I mean, I'm not Melanie, but Monica's a real, real writer and a real editor. And that's why I was so shocked. But yes. then she stepped down. So that made it look worse for her, didn't it? Let me tell you why she stepped down. Okay. okay, first of all, she's never used she's she was never exposed to that level of vitriol before. It was right around that time when her brother in law, the late Alan Combs, yep. and you remember him from Hannity and Combs, sure. passed away. Her sister was in dire straits. Her whole family was in turmoil. She didn't know what was actually happening to her until it was too late. Mm. And she also knew that the Trump administration was taking incoming because Media Matters for America, let me just put a bow on this. Okay. Media Matters for America <laughs> has put out their playbook, which I'm writing about very shortly at uh, MediaEqualizer.com, where they target the top 100 Trump nominees in order to spread as much personal dirt and lies about them to discredit them so that they would never get confirmed. That's what was going on. That was the environment that was taking place during the Clark Crowley um, fiasco that was going on. They simply didn't have enough people in their communications department to defend these nominations. It was terrible. But the good news, Melanie Morgan, and again, you can find her at MediaEqualizer.com. Here's the good news. The good news is the Democrats are now working together with the Republicans and there's no <laughs> more uh, uh, fake news and everybody's getting along and and golly jeepers, I'm just waiting for Nancy Pelosi to go give uh, Donald Trump a big French kiss on the steps of the Capitol. I can't wait. <clears throat> Boy, you know, my throat is kind of sore from all the talking that I did. Yeah. But, you know, I just have to say that, no, that's not exactly what's happening. Okay. And we, what we're seeing is some of the most divisive politics I have ever seen. I've been in politics all my adult life. And then when I was a kid, I was in politics because Man. my father was a former state lawmaker in Missouri. So I've been around it. You've been around it, Rusty. And everybody watching us, I, it's just shocking to see the level of hatred that's on display. We see it with our own families, with our friends, half of whom aren't talking to us if we admit out loud that we voted for Donald Trump. Well, you know, if we don't start talking about the issues and start, talk, you know, crossing, making the dots, connecting all of them for everybody, they won't understand the poisonous environment they're in mm -hmm. and the challenges that we are facing to our free speech. Now, you're from, do you live in San Francisco still? I know you lived there for a long time. Yes, I'm still here. Okay, now I have to apologize, and I feel like I should apologize almost daily because I live in Arizona. 
and I did everything I can about John McCain. I'm sorry, my friends. I did everything. It didn't work. <laughs> can you explain to me, Nancy Pelosi, and why people there are going to vote for her no matter what she does? You know, the way I looked at it when I was in talk radio was San Francisco is a target-rich environment. I mean, you know, you have a Nancy Pelosi who is virulently Mm anti-American, who has done everything that she can to sling dirt at every Republican she's ever met. But, you know, even the people, here's the funny thing, is that what most people don't realize about Nancy Pelosi and and her supposedly safe district in San Francisco, she's faced challenges from the left. There are people who actually think that she hasn't gone far enough. Oh, yeah, that Nancy Pelosi, she is so conservative. you got to get rid of her. I mean, I holy. Now, I mean, they're not everybody. I mean, I met Willie Brown a few times. He seemed like a pretty good guy. I mean, I didn't agree with him on everything. But Nancy Pelosi, there's something evil coming out of that chick. Am I wrong? Well, there, there is something really disturbing about her. I mean, the way she can look in the camera and lie so easily. That's, I mean, you know, a lot of politicians do that. I understand. You know what that is, though? I, I think, and I don't mean to interrupt, but, but you tell me if I'm wrong. I think it's the Botox. Well, I think she needs some more (laughs) because (laughs) there's definitely, uh, you know, there's a little bit of gravity at work there. And it gives her this expression that is less than trustworthy, you have to admit, you know, when we see her talking, we know that she's lying because her lips are moving. Well, and the other thing is, it's so nice that she's out there for the little guy. What, she worth 30, 40 million? Well, let me tell you something. I know that she does, She is out there for the little guy because she owns a winery up in Napa Valley. She and her husband, Paul Pelosi, and they do hire a lot of illegal immigrants to work the wine vines up there. So you got to say she's really working hard for the little yeah, person. She is. OK, well, I know you're working hard. I'm. I, you told me beforehand, Rusty, my throat is kind of sore. Please don't. Oh, now I'm going. Now I'm on a roll. Okay, now you're on a roll. Well, I'll keep going with you. You're doing good. There's no reason for me to work hard today. It's the day after 4th of July. Um, Okay, let's let's go over again. Media Equalizer and the rally for CNN. If I can't get to Atlanta, is there anything we can do to help? Absolutely. Um, we, we could use your help. What we're doing is we are targeting advertisers of CNN, and we are asking you to contact them and tell them, that, you know, hashtag CNN blackmail. We don't, that's un-American. By the way, I've called my advertisers and they are pulling from they CNN. Are. Yeah, so don't worry. I got I got your back. I'm you working the re- I'm working the real stuff back, behind the scenes. Huh? Oh man, that is awesome. You have to send me an email so I can brag about it. Okay. Um and you, of course, especially on our Facebook page. So our Facebook page is Stop the Scalpings. That's where everybody goes. Um we every single day we we post the advertisers. We Isn't that a little racist? I mean, are you are you anti uh, Native American? Is that what this is about? Oh, no, you know what? I, I, I forgot. I just got labeled a hater by um, the Southern Poverty Law Center. Um, it sounds because like we're it. going after CNN. Um, Is it not yeah, for the scalper thing? I think that that's, that's uh, bad. That could be it, you mm-hmm. know. Who knows how you get on these lists, but I wear them. Oh, uh, oh, oh, no, there's a, so everybody look out. There's an earthquake in San Francisco. We're going to report it live on CNN. Look out. Uh, we're reporting live here. A uh, big earthquake, a magnitude 17.2. Oh, please don't do that. I was actually here for that. Uh, 1989. That was scary. I, I but, was yeah, in well, one. The only earthquake that's taken place is my iPad that's falling off my uh, book <laughs> stack here. Uh, but anyway, so. It's yeah, for people who've never been in Facebook. earthquakes, I, I'm going to go on earthquake for just a second. It's weird, isn't it? But I, I was yeah. in one in, in the, what was the one? <sighs> Had to have been like er, mid 90s. And it got, I was in Bakersfield. It got Northern California. You remember that one? I do actually remember that one. It was all, it was along the San Andreas fault line. Yes. All I remember was I'm sleeping, right? And then like somebody's like shaking me, waking me up. And I go, stop it. I'm asleep. Wait a <laughs> second. I'm in bed alone. Yeah. This yeah. is bad. And then I run that, out, I run outside. And the that wind- is a sad commentary on the state of your social life that I want to have no participation. I Rusty. appreciate that. Had we known each other, we could have fixed that. And then, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And then you went outside with no shoes and the earth rolls underneath your feet. It's right? Scary. 
It's scary. My husband was coming across the Golden Gate Bridge Ooh. when we had the 89 earthquake. You know, it was the World Series. And uh, he was rushing home to get to the family so that we could watch the game together. And his car literally bumped to a stop because the bridge was swaying back and forth. That was scary. A lot of it, I mean, it was just terrible destruction. But here's the thing that's so weird about an earthquake, for those of you who are watching who have never been in one, yeah. is it upsets the inner ear balance so you feel like you're going to throw up during an earthquake that i've never heard yeah speaking of throwing up did you i'm going to play the video in a little (laughs) bit did you see the video of yesterday in la where the you're a reporter and this reporter's out at a they were doing some kind of a funny uh uh, iron man kind of thing it was run a mile uh swim a mile and then drink a six pack did you hear about this no, I didn't hear about this. And one of the contestants, the woman's on air interviewing somebody, and he projectiles all over her on oh, live TV. No. Oh. <laughs> so that's coming up here in the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. And that is something that I guarantee has already gone viral. Oh, oh yeah. That one's good. <laughs> that I mean, it's as, as good as Jane. which we live. Yeah, as but good as Jane. The hashtag CNN blackmail has gone. It was number one uh, trending on Twitter. And I was in a Twitter fight with Andrew Kaczynski yesterday when that story broke. And I started tweeting at him. And um, let me tell you, these guys um, who are out there who are trashing conservatives, who are trying to destroy our careers mm-hmm. and our lives, yeah. they can't take it. You know, and that's why it's really important for everybody to get involved and start um, contacting advertisers and Jeff Zucker at CNN demanding that this guy get fired. We're putting the word out everywhere. Fire him. Fire him all. Well, Jeff Zucker should be fired, too. I mean, it seems like. Okay, I mean, isn't it he the guy that seems to be pushing and telling everybody, okay, uh, something happened in the news. Now let's get back to the Russia thing. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. One of the things I said today was uh, fire um, Andrew Kaczynski at K-Files. And while you're at it, Jeff. Follow them out the door. Turn in your card key. You mm-hmm. don't need it anymore. Well, do you? I don't know. I think this Reddit thing is, like I said earlier, one of the the lowest points in pseudo journalism in in history. Um, I don't even know how they could pretend to take the high road on this. I don't know how you come back from it. I, I, they are taking such a huge hit. I am hopeful that the K files will be something that came out of Jeff Zucker's fevered imagination and will be gone by the end of this week, if all goes according to plan. And I always make a plan, Rusty, and mm-hmm. I try to keep to it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're going to find you online at mediaequalizer.com. Any other place you want people to go to, Melanie Morgan? Yeah, Facebook, where you're watching us right now, just click on over to Stop the Scalpings. You'll find us, and you'll find 107,000 other people who have the same uh, feelings that you do about the mainstream media in this country and how it's really, really a drag to Mm. have to fight them constantly. But we're willing to do it. That's the thing, is all of us are committed activists there, and you'll really enjoy the conversation, because I certainly have. Atlanta, we're going to be there July 22nd and asking everybody to come with us in front of CNN headquarters, 12 o'clock. We have all kinds of information about how you can get there, hotels, um, MARTA transportation, links um, to all kinds of different places. So big protest against CNN and the bias, the out-and-out hatred that they have displayed towards our president and towards Republicans and, and especially towards conservatives. All I can say is, you go, girl. You go, girl. I'm gone. Are you having are you having a good time? I'm having a blast. I have to tell you, it is a lot of fun. It's fun being back in the game, but it's exhausting because it's 24 seven. As you know, you can't Mm. ever turn it off, but at least you don't have to get up at three o'clock in the morning anymore. Uh, Thank you very much. Yes. (laughs) People don't read. Yeah. People don't realize that when you work morning radio, it's, it's hell and you never, you're never not tired. Am I right? That is absolutely 100% correct. I just, I was always tired because I would start at, you know, two 30 in the morning (sighs) to get to work. And then, you know, you you work around the clock because people don't have any boundaries anymore. You know, when you're in in this world, they will contact you 24-7. All right. Are you going to go take a nap now? No, I'm going to go have dinner and then I'm going to um, get back on the computer and start pounding away, urging people to join us in this cause and to stop the scalping. Then I want you to do me a favor. You go back to that husband of yours, Jack. You give him a big old wet kiss. You say, that's from Rusty. That's a Rusty kiss. (laughs) I will do that. He is listening in the other room, and I'll tell him that you want to get kind of 
frisky with him, but you Oh know, yeah, hopefully. yeah. Tell him I want to get fr- Oh yeah, get frisky with him for for folks that don't know, <laughs> her husband is one of the all-time top uh talk radio program directors in the world. I mean, people come from all over the world and uh to to learn from this guy. And I guess he must he were just retired because he, he married did- you when you were 15. It's true. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you know, there there was a little bit of consternation over that at the local sheriff's office, but we worked it out, so everything's good. <laughs> <We're> all- <laughs> Melanie, it's a pleasure. Thank you again so much. Again, MediaEqualizer.com, right? That's it. That's our oh. website. If you want to find us on Facebook, it's Stop the Scalpings, and of course, same handle um, on Twitter. And get involved, folks. Really, this is the opportunity that we've always asked for. You know, well, if I could just do something, I would. Do- well, this is it. Come to Atlanta. Get involved. Make a donation at Media Equalizer. If you can't be there, just do something. Let your voice be heard. Because you know what? We we aren't that effective when it's just one. But mm-hmm. when we speak together, we are extraordinarily powerful. Powerful. That's right. Quit your complaining and do something about it. You got it. All right. Thank you, Melanie. I sure appreciate it. It's always great talking to you. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Rusty. How cool is she? Melanie Morgan and, again, Media Equalizer and uh, uh, Stop the Scalping and all that good place. Okay, you can hang up now. You I'm can, trying. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get you off the show. There we go. Thank you. I am trying to do a show. She goes, wants to stay on. Holy mo- I'm hanging up on you. There. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's check. I have not had a chance to check in with you today, see how you're doing. Um, by the way, uh, for those of you who have not uh, been here before, my name is Rusty Humphreys. How are you? And uh, my website is RustyLive.com, as you can see down below. I've got a podcast that's going on right now. It's called the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. You could find that at iTunes and Stitcher and all places where you get great podcasts. Uh, we have some good stuff coming up. We're going to do some more uh, videos. That new James O'Keefe video we're going to get to in just a minute as well uh, because that's very cool. I do want to tell you about something um, that is very important to me, and I think it, it could be important to you too. And that how and that is how was your Fourth of July? I hope it was great. I hope you had the best Independence Day of your life. I really do. But I also know in this time of political strife, this Grand Canyon divide between the left and the right, caused by most people on the left. Yeah, I'm looking at you on the left. It's hard to go out with family and friends, especially if they're liberals. And so I sat down... And I wrote this book. And you're going, oh, you're pushing your book. I'm pushing the book for a couple of reasons. One, do I want to make a couple of dollars? Yes. Number two, this could change your life. I don't know if you have liberal family and friends and how much fighting is going on in your family. Everywhere I go, I mean everywhere I go, a couple of things happen. But one of them is some liberal comes up to me, and because I'm a talk show host, they think they're going to take on uh, Billy the Kid. There's some up-and-coming gunfighter, and, oh, they're so smart. And I'm so tired of it. But because I'm tired of it, I've picked up techniques on how to defeat them and how to embarrass them should they come up and try to start trouble. But you can't do that with family and friends and still have family and friends. Um, This book gives you seven tips and a lot of inside information on how to defeat the left or even more so, how do you disengage with them and how do you get them to stop and leave you alone and just get out of the way? Just stop it. We're having a party. I don't need to talk to you, Cousin Gus. I'm busy. I don't care that you don't like Donald Trump. I don't care that you think Bernie Sanders is the most important thing in the world. I don't care you think Donald Trump is a racist. I teach you psychological tricks. I teach you about social proof and how to manipulate the room. Oh, he's going to manipulate. Well, I do teach you how to do things for the good 
of the party and good of the room and good of the people around. It's fun, it's interesting, and it's funny. And I think you will enjoy it. It is available at Amazon. I will put a link on this uh, page here at Right Wing News and also on my Facebook page. There's a couple of links there at RustyLive.com. You can get the paperback. It is also available at Kindle. It is going to be soon available on Audible. I finished it. They wanted me to change something, so I got that fixed. It should be up in the next day or two, I hope. And also there are autograph copies available. I, I did a whole stack of them today and sent them out on, and you can only get those at my website, which is rustylive.com, rustylive.com. All right, let's take a look at your, let's take a look at your comments. Um, <laughs> William wants to know who are these people. Uh, William, I'll introduce you to myself. My name is Rusty Humphreys. I have been a radio talk show host for about 30 years. I had the sixth largest show in America, reaching over six, uh, four or five million homes every single night, maybe more. Uh, now I am focused on going around the mainstream, going around the big broadcasting companies, not allowing the big corporations who are billions of dollars in debt. The biggest talk, there's two companies that own every major company talk station in the country. One is 22 billion in debt, the other one is about 4 or 5 billion in debt. They're shoving 22 to 28 minutes of commercials down your throats. Then type then put in traffic and weather together and all those things and I find talk radio on terrestrial radio unlistenable. And that's why I do a podcast. And that's why I broadcast every night 9 p.m. in the east. 6 p.m. in the West, right here on Right Wing News on video on Facebook Live. And yeah, I throw in a couple of commercials. It's a couple of minutes as opposed to 22 to 28. And I give you the news straight. I tell you my opinion, and then I allow you to get involved. And I read your comments. Like Mo says, uh, so Warren says, she's a fox. Good. Mary says, Nancy stretched face Palauzi is a hypocrite and a liar. Presents herself as a Catholic, then supports abortion and same uh, several marriages. Anything for a vote, she says. You know, don't disagree with that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Down with CNN. Gladys says, uh, so long CNN. Barbara says, so long CNN. Uh, Jason says, they took our flags, now our guns. Um... Katie says, I don't want Zucker fired. As long as he's at CNN, they will continue to look bad. They give themselves away every time they speak. Makes our president look better. Very good. Very, that's a good point. Uh, Donald says, I support you. Samuel is checking in from Oxford, Mississippi. Henry says, awesome. Um, so sick of CNN being all that they are and liars. MSNBS should follow, says William. Anyway, so I wanted, so we've got a lot of different comments, and we want to hear more from you. And uh, oh, Lydia says, folks with liberal family and friends need to hear this and, uh, and get my book. And boy, I would sure appreciate it. I would really, really appreciate it. So if you could, uh, again, go to Amazon. It's only available at Amazon. The, again, Kindle, paperback, Audible should be available very soon. Okay, another big story breaking at Project Veritas. That is James O'Keefe's organization. And what is happening? Let's go to the videotape and share it with you here on the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. Granted, I've, anything I've said to you, I would defend. I don't think I've said anything wrong. I don't think I've said anything wrong. Hi, I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. Jimmy Carr is an associate producer with CNN's morning show, New Day. Our releases about him and others last week exposed CNN's bias and radical fake news agenda. In a subsequent meeting with Carr, he doubled down about his statements and other anti-Trump comments. I just can't believe the the arrogance of these people. I had a moment. I had a moment of panic because on Sunday night, I met them on a Friday. On Sunday night, this anti-CNN advocacy guy released a bunch of tapes with him. Okay, so the the, the the nothing burger thing came from a guy who secretly recorded his conversations with a CNN employee. Who did that? Just this right wing advocate. Okay, I, I, as I was watching this the first time, I mean. He, this guy knows that people are out videotaping and then somebody's videotaping him. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, I sometimes, listen, James O'Keefe is a personal friend. I have, 
known him since he first got started. I, I was one of the first people to see that first video, the Acorn video. I saw that before anybody saw it. I saw it at Andrew Breitbart's house uh, before he, it was ever released. So I've known James O'Keefe for a long time. And sometimes I get the heebie-jeebies on the hidden camera stuff. But this one's weird because this guy knows they're taping, and yet he's still yap, yap, yapping? What a dumbass. Keep going. Hitler? Hitler use? <laughs> But a guy who hated CNN and was pro-Trump and wanted to expose CNN's lies. And he had met a guy and talked to them about CNN's coverage and recorded it secretly and released it at... When was this? It was on Sunday night, Monday morning. Oh. And it came out and we were all going, holy shit, how is this guy so stupid? He's talking to everyone and telling, saying X, Y, and Z about CNN. But then I went to there and went, well, I talked to a couple of guys at a bar on Friday afternoon and I said things that we wouldn't normally say. I mean, granted, I've, anything I've said to you, I would defend on the record. Yeah. yeah, but, oh, man. How embarrassed does this guy have to be? I mean, seriously. He's sitting there, yappity, yap, yap, yapping, saying, golly, jeepers, a few days ago, I, I said some stuff, and I wonder if those guys taped me as they're taping him. Holy moly. <laughs> I feel... It makes me giggle, and then again, heebie-jeebies. Now, tell me what you think. I'd like to know from you. And by the way, wait, wait, can you give us some thumbs up today? We got to remember how much, how important that the uh, engagement is. Thumbs up, your comments, checking in. We've got to let Facebook know you're paying attention. Okay, this is how we go around the mainstream media, and I can't do it without you. So if you'd please, let's just take a moment and I'd give a bunch of thumbs ups if you would, or hearts, or heck, mad, whatever whatever emotion you're feeling right now. And if you would please check in. Let me know who you are, where you're from. If you've got any comments, I want to hear from you, and I want to see what it is that you're thinking and feeling and what's going on in your mind. And my first question to you is, I was going to say, do you like what James O'Keefe's doing? I, th I know we all do, but would you like it? Man, I wouldn't like him to do it to me or you, right? So how does that make you? How do you, can you rectify that in your own mind? Let's see. Uh, quickly, uh, L L uh, Linda says, report facts. Steve says, fake news, get rid of it. Ryan says, don't you think it's hypocritical to recognize our country is polarized and then blame the left when both sides use the same tactics? Uh, no, Ryan, we don't use the same tactics. And I ex explain that in the book. There are different thought processes. And by the way, can I read something? Oh, Ryan, sorry, if Ryan's a liberal, let me read this because I'm going to read part of the book here. Because this is very, very important, and I want to get this out um, right here. Where is it? Um, cause I don't want to, I want to make this very clear. Here we go. <clears throat> this is in the introduction part. Almost every day I receive a phone call or an email. I meet somebody in the street. Somebody says, I got a sister, a brother, a cousin, a sister-in-law. They're a big liberal and I love them. But every time we get together, there's a big fight that breaks out. What do we do? My friend, this book is the answer to everything you've been looking for. That's right. However, if you're looking to go headfirst into serious political debates, battling out with every snowflake, Chick-fil-A hater, and President Donald Trump derangement sufferer, you might want to look for a different title, although this book will point you in the right direction. This book is to help you deal with your family and friends in the most dangerous of all arenas of battle, the social situation. Now, if you're a liberal and you're reading this book to find ways to defeat a conservative, stop. I repeat, stop. See, it says it right there. Stop. I've written this book with the expressed intent of helping my conservative brothers and sisters keep the family and friends they haven't lost just because they voted for Donald J. Trump. This book is not intended to help liberals in any way other than to calm them down. And I caution you, you must use these techniques for good. 
like the unearthed tomb of a pharaoh. I place a curse on anyone who uses these words and tips for evil. I do not wish to lose my blessings from the Lord. Let's make American families great again. We need each other. Rusty Humphreys, June 2017. So, if you're a liberal, I'm sorry you're not allowed to buy this. Sorry. And even, in, by the way, even in the disclaimer, in the disclaimer of the book here, very front, you know, nobody reads it. The views expressed are those of the author, and they are correct. Anyone who disagrees with the author is wrong. So those, are, those, are the, those are the disclaimers. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Kenny loves the show. Sonia says, uh, Sonia says, hi. Kenny's checking in from Louisville, Kentucky. JJ says, help CNN fail by not watching. Uh, John, the police officer, lives in Monroe, is on board. Hey, how's it going? Melinda has shared this. Uh, by the way, thank you. Do me a favor. If you uh, have engaged, you've written something, uh, if you have uh, done thumbs up or hearts or whatever, now I need you to share the video. We need to let everybody in your Facebook space to know that we are here. And we have to do this every night, and we have to make it like clockwork. This show goes on like clockwork every night, I can say about 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Sometimes just technically there's a problem because I'm doing it all by myself. Someday I'll have to give you the behind-the-scenes look of what, what I'm looking at here. I could probably do that with my phone. Can I? Do you care really right now? Probably not. I, got, I want to get back to the James O'Keefe video in just a second. But if you would please share the video and let people know it's so important. And by the way, seven ways to win political debates with your liberal family and friends and not and not lose liberal family and friends or keep them <laughs> and still keep them as family and friends is available at Amazon in paperback. This is the paperback and there's a Kindle version and the Audible is coming very soon. All right, let's get back to Jimmy Carr, CNN associate producer and what he had to say to the hidden camera. I think I've said anything wrong. Oh, I don't know to the guy that had his phone on in his pocket. But so he was just talking to But so he was just talking to a guy. No, it was it was a secret recording. He had his phone voice recording in his pocket. Talking to him, talking about, hey, don't you think CNN's coverage is a little ridiculous right now? And this employee said, Well, yeah, I think it's over the top and right now it's kind of bullshit. But I mean that became the subject of three Opening monologues on Fox News evening show, <laughs> and I had the thought of literally. I wonder I, I missed I, it. I'm not bullshitting you. I literally went. What's your language, dude? Should I help those two guys? Potty that mouth. Weren't trying to fuck with me and record me. I mean, granted, I, anything I've said to you, I would defend on the record. Yeah. Anything I've said to you, I would We all recognize he is a clown. That he is hilariously un unqualified for this. That he's really bad at this. And then, okay, just to make that clear, so you know, that's the same guy from earlier. And I guess he didn't know that he was ta that he was taped and then they were going to release it. Again, here's the thing with James O'Keefe, and he learned this from Andrew Breitbart, and it was brilliant the way they've come up with it because it works every single time. First, release a video. Well, actually, first, tease the video. I got something big. CNN, better look out, teasy tease. And CNN goes, yeah, well, you ain't got nothing. Really? Then they put out a video. And then CNN goes, oh, well, that guy, he was just a, a medical producer, whatever it was. And But nobody else at CNN thinks like that. Really? You know, Keith's got another one here. Let me uh, throw you... How about Van Jones? Oopsie. How about another producer? Whoopsie. And every time they try to dispute what O'Keefe puts out, oh, yeah, I got, I got another one here for you. Whoopsie. So that's what's going on right now, and it's, it's beautiful and brilliant the way James does it every single time, and they never learn. The left never learns their lessons, ever. I love, love, love it. He does not have America's best interests. We recognize it's just fucking crazy. Would it be fair to question the intellect of the American voter? Oh, oh no, they're stupid as shit. <laughs> Sorry, Kellyanne Conway. What's she look like? The, is she the one with she the... She looks like she would do the shuffle. 
<laughs> Carr also let it slip that he and his co-workers are not exactly fans of their anchor, Chris Cuomo. Oh, by the way, this, this part is awesome. Watch this. I, I just saw this part just a little while ago. It's good. Watch this one. Here we go. But I don't have the gravitas, so... Yes, Chris Cuomo is Andrew Cuomo's brother, the governor of New York. Well, there, that's the, that's the rabbit hole. I've been sat in the last couple, what, an hour and a half listening to you. You're extremely intelligent. You're very well spoken. I think you're far better than Chris Cuomo. This is how you present the issue. I totally disagree with you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not drunk. I, I, can't, I cannot technically say anything, but I can simply say that. There's a lot of us that spend a lot of time in the newsroom criticizing just the what? The same place. Yeah, I can't stand that. Okay. No, I know what it means. We're like, shut up. Chris Cuomo. Yeah. And by the way, that's his last day at CNN. Oh, that guy's getting fired. Oh, is he going to be fired? Oh, man. He spoke out against the great Chris Cuomo. Which, by the way, I couldn't pick out Chris Cuomo from a lineup if you paid me $1,000. Maybe 10000 I could have figured it out. But it's CNN land. That's just a, a big sin. Huge sin. But let's play more, shall we? After our video last week, New Day anchor Allison Camerata sent an email to the panelist who she suspected leaked the new audio of the selectively edited video CNN released. She seemed to be expressing some level of anger about the leak. We believe that Jimmy Carr, John Bonifield, and Van Jones are just telling the truth about what's going on inside CNN newsrooms across the country. Mm -hmm. It's a toxic culture of anti-Trump bashing, ratings grabbing, and just plain lazy journalism. And in light of today's CNN video blackmail scandal, they'll have to raise their standards if they have any chance of regaining trust with the American people. Balance your journalism, stop reporting fake news, work a little harder, and maybe, just maybe, you'll have a chance to save yourselves. Good job, James O'Keefe. I'm proud of you. And another hit video. Nice job. Everybody give James O'Keefe a thumbs up. He deserves it. He deserves a thumbs up. He deserves a heart. He deserves a share. That was really, really good stuff. That's called journalism, my friend. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, Sonia says he should keep doing it. Jason said, if you got nothing to hide, you got nothing to worry about. Everybody's got something to hide. Uh, Jason, give me, give me 10 minutes with uh, your computer, okay? Let's see what we can come up with. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but that's just, you know, the world we live in now. Uh, what else? Jeffrey says CNN doesn't need any help going down. Ryan says, oh, you're, he's not a liberal. He's more of a centrist. Okay, well, good for you. Ryan, I appreciate it. They, I have no problem with people who disagree. Again, what I can't stand, and I write about it extensively in my book, I can't stand jerks. I can't stand people who come up and think they're so dang smart and they got this swarmy look of I'm superior and I'm going to teach you a lesson. Those people I can't stand. And I love embarrassing them. Love it. I live for it. I live for embarrassing somebody who's a bully because bullies deserve to be broken. But if you're a nice person and you just want to talk about the issues, and again, you could be the biggest liberal in the world, but you, you, you give and you take and we talk and we go, eh. I don't agree, but okay. And you're not just spouting talking points. I'll do it all day long. I got. I, I love it. Okay. Paul says, sad fact is they have an audience that believes everything they say. Kenny says, reporters of old were investigative reporters. They dug deep for news. Their editors required them to check and double check their sources. We need news media that are honest, who are working to keep our politicians walking the straight path. Good. Mary says, CNN presents their opinions as facts. They also take facts and edit them in a way that change the meaning and therefore they mislead. It's a good point. CNN also outright lies. They retract, but the damage has already been done. They love clickbait and sensational headlines to draw gullible viewers. Therefore, they are fake news. My dog is over there. She's making noise. Wendy, you okay? You doing okay, Wendy? 
better end the show first. Uh, Mike says, CNN is nothing more than state-run media, all about propaganda. Marissa says, I don't know how to punish CNN. The president is very capable to defend himself, but CNN is doing a good job along because the more they do wrong, the more people are going to boycott them. It's becoming very, very boring. Yes, and I think this past week has been devastating, although I think even worse for CNN is their attack on whoever did that silly video of Donald Trump uh, with the CNN face on the, on Vince McMahon, and they decided they were going to try to ruin that guy's life. Uh, that is just unconscionable. Unconscionable. Uh, Melinda says, just love him. Who do you love, Melinda? Um, books and audiobooks sell really well at main truck stops. All I did, Peter, everything that every, all I'm doing is online with Amazon because I'm not a big publisher. I'm just doing it myself. And just tell people to get it downloaded. It'd be awesome if they would. James says CNN is children's nutty news. Terry says we don't watch CNN. Used two years gone by. Now they're crazy. And Tracy says CNN thinks they're the fourth rank of the government. Very true. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw this video, but this was on in L.A. yesterday on the 4th of July. Oh, Melinda's talking about James O'Keefe. I love him, too. Um, and this was 4th of July, this was yesterday, and it's a video you will not soon forget. Well, you saw it here live just about a half hour ago, hundreds of people descending on the Hermosa Beach to begin a unique Ironman competition. Yes, it includes running, paddling, and drinking beer. Wendy Birch in the middle of the action. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. I once had a dream like this, that I was in the middle of a mosh pit with a lot of people who were drinking. Where's your beer? Hi, how are you? No, 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 no. Come on over here, my friend. How are you? This is getting, it's getting ugly. This is the true test of the endurance. Now, let's just recap. You guys ran a mile on the beach. You paddled a mile in the ocean. And now what are you doing? Jugging a six-pack of beer. Jugging a six-pack of beer. I feel that you are very well. What's going on? What's going on? Oh! It's getting ugly, it's getting ugly. This is my friend, Sarah. Sarah was trying to finish her six pack. Welcome it looks to like, Iron Man. It looks like you've been Get training ready. for this for some time. I've been doing this for about 25 years. Oh! Oh! It's a locker room celebration, ladies and gentlemen. Time to bring her out. Somebody just threw up on her and it went all over. <laughs> Uh, Mary, you're making fun of asking me if this is news. I know not everything I do is news. I'm not pretending to do news. I'm pretending to give you information, stuff that's interesting. Sometimes it's serious. Sometimes it's funny. I don't do straight news. I'm a commentator. And so I can get away with this kind of stuff. I'm not trying to say that I'm real news. I'll tell you the real news. You know the difference when I'm talking about news and when I'm not. Like when I show a reporter getting thrown up on, not a serious story. Just saying. Okay. Um, oh, WaxRx, one of my great sponsors. Will you please do me a favor? Will you go, if you have any earwax problems, and, and I know it's just... Ugh, I hate even talking about it, but I, I'm one of those guys that has it. It drives me, it drives me crazy. It drives me nuts. And I, it, th about twice a year, I have to go to the doctor because I can't hear and it gets me dizzy. And Wax RX, it is an incredible product. It's the same stuff that they have at doctor's offices, but for a lot less. And it's made by the same people that make the stuff that they use in the doctor's offices. Go to WaxRx.com. Find out what they can do for you, and you're going to be really, really happy that you did. Okay? Um, also, do me a favor. Would you like and share? Like and share, like and share, like and share, like and share this video. Um, let's see. Mike wants to know, when will the paperback of my book be out? It's out right now. Go get it right now. It is available at Amazon. And just go, they've got two things up right now. They've got the Kindle edition, the ebook edition, and the paperback. Both are available right now. Another thing is that I was uh, honored 
to do Blunt Force Truth with my friend Mark Young. Uh, Chuck Woolery was on vacation today. I did it earlier today, and it's a great show. Go to BluntForceTruth.com, and you'll be able to find out more. And anything else? I'm trying to think. I, I think that's that may be about it. Um, time flies when you're having fun, huh? So if you would do yourself a favor... Make sure you tell your friends about the show. And if you would also go to iTunes and subscribe to the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion podcast. Make sure you don't miss any of these podcasts. I'd appreciate it. If also, you'd put a nice little review on. That would mean a lot. Also, again, yes, I'm going to hawk the book for a while because, you know, I got to feed the family. I'm not charging you for this show, right? I don't have thousands of sponsors. I'm not playing 28 minutes of commercials an hour like other talk shows are doing. I'm just telling you about good products that you could like. So get my book, if you would please. Seven ways to win political debates with your liberal family and friends and still keep them as family and friends. Available at Amazon. If nothing else, you can get just so you can get the, the hot picture of Stacey Dash on the back who says wonderful things about the book. And so if you'd go do that, that would be awesome. It's uh, Amazon. Again, ebook, Kindle book, paperback, audio book coming. And by the way, the audio book is, um, I think it's better. Don't tell anybody. Well, I'm the only one. I, mean, I made it both of the audiobook is better. Mary says, when I asked if it was news, she was, I was referring to that California network that aired that drink fest. I thought it was hilarious that the guy was thrown up on. That was pretty funny. Uh, anything else? Oh, my website. Have you been to uh, RustyLive.com? That's where you can find the latest. You can get uh, updates on the, the show, the podcast, the videos. And if you are an entrepreneur or you're a business person and you want to learn how to get better in the media and you want to become the go-to celebrity in your niche, niche, go to my website. Go to the contact area. We can talk. That's what I do for a living is I help people become media experts and celebrities. I can do it for you too. If you have talent, if you've got something that we can come up with and sell together I want to help and I want to help get people to learn how to give a message that can resonate with America I'm so tired of these people trying to destroy our country I'm going to fight them every single day of my life that's it thank you so much for being here may God bless you may God bless America may God bless Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream Cream. may God bless Wax RX, may God bless John Hawkins and Right Wing News and his great book, 101 Things All Young Adults Should Know. May God bless Ad Zombies. If you've got a business and you're having a tough time getting those ads working online, go to adzombies.com. Use my name, Rusty. Get 20% off as the promo code. And that's it. I'll be back tomorrow. Nine in the east. Nine, it's fine. Six in the west. Six, get your fix. This is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. I'm Rusty Humphreys. Have a groovy night, baby. the name of the book Kathy it's seven ways to seven ways to win political debates with your liberal family and friends and still keep them with as family and friends just type in my name Rusty Humphreys it's not like I got 50 books out there did that help Kathy go by the book Kathy
Kathy, 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 go by the book. You too, Kenny. Mike, go by the book. Sonya, by the book. Go by the book. Now, Mary, go get me book. Go and get the book. You too, Melinda, then Tony, Melinda, Mary, Tracy, and James. Peter, Marissa, and everybody that listened for free. Go buy the book. Make it so that I can buy some food. My daughter is 16, and she needs a brand new car, so help and buy the book. Buy the book. Go and buy the book. Oh, am I still on the air? I've been playing. Bye, see you later.